Hello everybody and welcome to So You Want to Be a Paranormal Investigator Show number 16 hmm? Alright, so One of the things I get asked a lot of times Is Can you tell me who my, what my animal spirits are? Can you tell me who my spirit guides are? Can you tell me who my guardians are? Can you tell me what my animal spirit is, which is the animal that protects you, or that you're most like? Okay, now. The thing is, they don't want someone to tell you that, okay? They would rather you do the research yourself and figure it out, because then it shows that you're interested and that you're going to work with them so that they can teach you things. Hmm? So this lesson is going to be about how do you go about learning those questions. Now, understand it's not a five minute fix. It's not something you can do in one day. It's something you have to work at day after day. Uh, sometimes it takes you a long, long time to figure it out. Sometimes it's pretty quick. However, the best way to do it is we do it in stages. You find out what your animal is or your spirit guide or whatever and you get to learn about them and stuff like that so um, I'm going to show you how I set up my meditation mat for all that and everything but I'll just tell you what my prayers are like you know what type of prayer I do before I do it now you could say Saint Michael I ask you or whatever you want okay but the way I do it is this grandfather I am far from my place of birth, both by time and space, the bones of my ancestors are at rest. I seek your counsel and guidance. I am seeking knowledge of. And then the things you can ask for is medicine, your animal spirit, your animal totems, spirit guides, your spirit guardians, or spiritual knowledge, spiritual healing, spiritual teachings, or your spiritual lessons. All right? So, <coughs> you can go over this after. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's basically what you're doing. Now, you have to have three things that you really like. they got to be the same thing, though. So it could be three feathers, three stones, three coins, three anything that you like. Three crystals. Now, they don't have to be exactly the same. You could have amethyst, turpaline, hematite, whatever, you know, or a quarter diamond nickel, or a red, yellow, blue feather, or whatever. But it's the same item, but they can be a little bit different, right? Because you need one for your mind, one for your body, one for your spirit. And then you got to have something that you consider gives you good luck, or something that you like, you know. Something that makes you feel good or good luck you know because you got to put it in the middle and then after that you say your prayer and then you close your eyes and you focus very gently to see the shapes and your shape will be reddish blackish darkish whatever like you'll you'll see a shape inside the darkness you don't close it really tight, you know, just very lightly. And you try to see whatever you're looking for. So if you're asking for spiritual guides or totems or whatever. Now the first time you look, you might just see something that looks like a small creature. But you can't really tell what it is. Okay, so you know that's a smaller creature if it's an animal spirit. So the next time you look, you say, I need more definition. Right? I, I need to know who is that. Eventually you'll figure it out. You'll see what it is. You'll know what it is, right? And then you got to study the animal, study what its positivities, what its habits are like, what it does, what it doesn't do, and learn from that. And and we'll go into more of that later on. First, you got to find your animal spirits. All right. So I'm going to show you how to do that part coming up after this. So I got to change everything around. Um, I'm going to add this, that part of it, what I do, how, how to set it up, will be following this right away, 
I'm gonna put it all in one cinema, okay? So stay tuned. All right, my dubbing. So this is an example. This here's my my mat I use. Uh, it's one of those no stick or those sticky things you can buy at the dollar store. <laughs> but anyway, this is my mat. So what I would say is, before I put anything on there, I say, and you can you can say whatever you want, of course. But I say, grandfather. I am here, far from my place of birth, both by time and space. The bones of my ancestors are at rest. I seek your counsel and guidance. I am searching for knowledge of, and we're going to say animal totems today, okay? So then, from there you say, this feather represents my mind. This feather represents my body, and this feather represents my spirit. Thus my mind is open to listen. My body is still and ready to learn, and my soul is to be protected. And this I put in the center to ground all three to myself, so that I am tethered to myself. For now, I seek knowledge. And then, you relax, close your eyes gently, and watch and learn. And that's it. No other big secrets, nothing. Uh, just remember to close your eyes gently and look for your answer. Listen for your answers. You will hear and see your answers. It's a quest that you go on, and you won't get it right away. <laughs> It will take you a while to learn everything, but if you are patient and you work towards it, you will find your own animal totems and your own spirit guides and all that stuff. This is how you do all of it. All that kind of stuff is right here. There's your there's your tools. Now you learn to use them. All right. So there it is. That's what you got to do uh, in order to find the answers that you're seeking. All right. And it is much better. To do it that way like I say you just close gently listen see feel and know it's all about belief and trusting yourself because when you trust yourself when you see what you see and you know what you know the spirit world will say okay now this person trusts themselves now we can help them if you can't trust yourself how can you trust your animal guides or your animal spirits or your totems or your guardians okay so it comes first is to trust yourself do this it will take time you're not going to get the answers in one day be patient and search and you will find seek and they shall find right so there you go that's how you do it so until next time take care of yourself take care of your family <laughs> and have a good day bye